Good morning. No, it's not good morning. It's good afternoon. It was going to be good morning, but the dog got me. Everything got me this morning, and I couldn't get here, and I'm so far behind. Look at how thick this is. And then this big batch over here is from this morning. So I'm going to be working on this all week, guys, so forgive me. And Chris just told me he's three behind. So by the time you get this, oh, so I apologize. I know one went up today, so I, I I just apologize. It's just hard for us to get them all, so forgive me if we don't get to you. Uh, we will. I'm coming down the road. Uh, but you guys are doing so well. When I look at some of these uh, responses and what you guys are saying about yourselves and what you need, I love it. You're, you're nailing it on the head. You guys are really coming a long way. So forgive me here, but I'm going to kind of speed along or I just you know I'll flap my jaws too much so uh, I want to say this uh, Owen and all you guys you, you just got some beautiful comments on one uh, really great uh, JG you guys are just really great I just really love your consciousness and you're coming along you guys are really where it's at the, the, the way you look at life the consciousness and I'm I'm glad to be amongst those all of us that are at these levels where we see uh, more expanded the universe and the supreme being it's just a great thing um your comment to uh, kelly kelly uh she probably has come off of this uh you know these type of cases uh sometimes they just don't follow through they get into that one practitioner after another after another and and you made a comment here kelly in regard to um uh, owen and he said uh your comment with Owen was, he hasn't treated me yet. We shall see what happens. So many doctors have said they will help and don't follow through. I can tell you, uh, Kelly, if you're listening, uh, you're the one that's got to do this, not me. Uh, that's what this channel is all about, if you hadn't gathered that. This isn't about other docs fixing you. This is about you fixing yourself. And that's the way it is with every one of them. You haven't noticed all these guys are doing the, doing the do and doing the job on themselves. That's why I spend the time doing these videos is to educate you. And if you don't believe it, okay, go, you know, try something else. But the reason this, this, this YouTube is so important is that it gives you the tools. Because ultimately, Kelly, you've got to work yourself out of this. You're trusting too many people in what they're telling you. I don't want you to trust me in what I'm telling you. I want you to know what I'm telling you. And if you don't, then it's nothing. You can't use it. You're, you're wanting someone to pick you up in a cart and walk you down the road. No, 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 no. Uh, not here. You're going to walk yourself down the road. I'll walk with you. We will help you. I never lie. And I will help you down the road. But not unless you do the walking, because I'm not carrying nobody. Uh, we've got too many of us coming down the road here, and you've got to walk the walk, talk the talk, or don't walk it. And don't, don't even complain anymore. Just live with what you've got. It's easy to understand what's wrong with you, just because other docs haven't. That's why you learn. It's why you grow. You can't lock yourself in a world where I have never had help before, and no one else can help me. Get yourself out of that mindset and pull yourself up. You've been, God's leading you down the road to someone that knows more, someone that knows more, and has had to do it in a way it just had to, to suit you and your ability to handle this. That's how God works. So you're now at the top of the mountain, nothing to complain about, but get straddled in and do it. So that's all I can tell you, honey. It's, uh, these are not difficult symptoms to, to, for anybody to understand here. Matter of fact, most of you guys are really getting it so much that you can help her. I mean, this is, uh, you're seeing the pathetic shape that our practitioners are in, in this world. Not just in this country, in this world. I mean, when the top homeopath of, uh, uh, of Portugal says, come on, uh, uh, that runs a, one, a well-respected school, comes to me and says, do you work with diabetes? And I said, you don't? That's a problem. And, and this is what we're seeing here. Now, keep in mind, diseases, don't let that medical twist crap get involved here. Understand causative factors like you guys are doing. So, Kelly... Grab the bull by the horns and start walking yourself out of this. We're all here helping you. And so even the people on our YouTube are trying to give you support. Don't knock it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could get on some Fox News. I've been on Fox News, Rosalind. But um, you know what? Uh, sometimes the world isn't ready. 
You know what I mean? Kelly might not be ready. Who knows? Uh, I don't know that. I know that we have the answers for them, but whether the world is ready for us, you know, I'm pretty straight shooter. I don't pull too many punches. We don't have time to worry about it. You guys are so sweet and great. I love you. Uh, and uh, you too, sweetheart. Thanks for the comment there about the national TV thing. Uh, what I supposed to change in my diet to get the balance back? Yeah, I know. That's why. Don't be surprised if you visit the, the high levels of fruitarianism and then you have to back down. Don't be surprised. No insults. Nothing. Uh, balance can be anything from cooked foods even. You know, I had to. I, we, we actually, you know, I gave so many spiritual talks back then too. I was more into the spiritual side than the health side. I mean, what's more exciting, the ultimate right of God and 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 and, and seeing, uh, you know, in consciousness and, and and just the incredible bliss and ecstasy, or eating raw foods? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I'll take the. Uh, I think I eat the raw. No, I'm going to take the supreme being. So, but. When you're in a, when you're young, and even when you're not, you have to be careful. Energy will fry you. You know, it's like grabbing a hold of 440s. You know, so, you know, balance is really important, and I really believe that's 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 vital. But in the same time, I believe that sometimes our balance is fruitarianism, and sometimes our balance might be back a little bit because as you channel the God force. My God, I mean, you're, you're channeling massive amounts of energy. Sometimes you have to ground the human body because your cells can't handle it. Sometimes your cells of your body can't handle what you can channel. That's why it's a limited body. So uh, do your best, my friend, and uh, thank you so much for your uh, comments. Too sicker. Yeah, I appreciate what you said, too, my friend. Um, if your tonsils have been removed, does that mean your lymph vessels from your head have been uh, severed and the lymph? Uh, minor. Minor lymphedema exists without tonsils and adenoids, no question about it. Uh, it's like some wrong lymph nodes axillarily can give you minor lymphedema in the arm or major. Um, if it did give people major lymphedema, they wouldn't have quit. They had to quit doing it. Uh, but it does, to a certain degree, does create a lymph stagnation problems. Definitely affects the jaws. Uh, it depends if the adenoids are gone or not. The snoring comes about. The glaucomas, the pressures can come. Depends how bad the diet is. If there's a lot of dairy products, how bad you're clogging your lymph system to how much you feel. It depends how much adrenals and kidney weakness you have to how much is moving or not moving in the first place. So there's a lot of cofactors here, my friend. So uh, somewhat, though, there's somewhat lymphedema without the tonsils and adenoids, no question about it. Now, thank God, new pathways can grow, uh, the body can move lymph on the side, so there's other ways that you can drain lymph. This isn't so up in this area. You remove the lymph nodes around this ear here, you just got yourself in major serious trouble. Suggest you never do that. Live with the cancer, because I've showed, I have, maybe haven't showed you pictures yet, but uh, I don't know how much to show over the YouTube, but they are very graphic of some extreme suffering people that make you want to puke at what they had to go through. And all of us here, I mean, just heavy hearted because they removed lip nodes and there was nothing we could do, not even the black salve. So very serious issues. Uh, so yeah, you never want to remove any lip nodes, any, any part around this ear area. That's not a good thing. Uh, yeah, and sorry again if I'm if I'm really not getting to you in a timely manner. Uh, you'll get your diabetes over. You'll you you get yourself okay there, man. You guys are doing great. I really find you. You guys are really picking up, and I love this. I love your. You guys are really getting. You're good. You're grounded. I just I, I think we've got a really good channel. Uh, the subscribers here are par none. I really really love you guys. So it's really, uh, I love that. I, I just apologize that I can't get these out fast enough, but it's the way it is, I guess. There are always haters in the way. And there is. I know, and I don't know why that is, you know. 90% of viewers benefited. And I thank you for that comment. I do. I, I, the, I, I try to make this a true seeker uh, YouTube site to where if you want to know, we're going we're gonna to definitely um, 
give you the knowledge and stuff. Whether you choose to wear it or wear part of it, okay, you know. You know, I, I understand the people that, that have spent years suffering. If anybody understands that, we do, because we're generally referred to as the last clinic I'm stopping at. We, we've heard this over and over again, and, and I look at the issues out there. Most of you have been familiar with other nature paths and stuff, so you get to see the, the stagnation we have in consciousness out there. But I think ultimately, you know, naturopathic schools should have raw food books. You don't see that in naturopathic schools a lot. You should have Arnold Eric. You should have the natural hygienic people. You should have a well-rounded understanding of fasting and, and fruititarianism and all these different levels. You don't have that. You have the Dr. Wiles and you have a lot of the medical doctors like, what? In naturopathy? So this is the problem. And, uh, and this is why the students aren't turning out with a lot of knowledge either. No offense, but I've seen a lot of them and you see what's out there and I have to deal with it every day coming in here with bags of supplements upset drained all their money and now suddenly uh, they they still need help and so you know what can we do past lives <laughs> who are you September <laughs> mm, past lives interesting but shall I speak of that on uh, YouTube yeah, I was going to have some good words of wisdom today, but I've been so busy, they kind of got dragged away. I, <laughs> I tell you, it's, it's been, I've been pushing late. Uh, it's just it's a lot of problems here, or issues to deal with. Now, Owen, yeah, I tell you what, you have a beautiful thing you said here, Owen. I really love what you're coming out with here. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I just really love what you said here. It was really nice, loving that the, the, the child and nurturing it. I it's really good. I had some good things for you to say, but uh, can't remember. I mean, I'm kind of in hyper speed today, <laughs> so forgive me. I'm just uh, really so far behind trying to get that out. Now, this was a good question about um, uh, pica uh, eating dirt, chalk. Uh, this person. Uh, uh, even since she was a little girl, she's craved dirt, chalk, cornstarch. She had a corn, box of cornstarch every couple of days. Um, amazing. I've heard of cases like that, honey. And uh, I have to say that I've only heard of one other, and that was a lady craving dirt when she was pregnant. I personally think it, it goes right into two things. I think it goes right into the adrenal glands and low mineral steroids where most of your minerals are not being utilized properly and also feel it goes into malabsorption too. I think these are two places this can go into. Outside of that, I don't know why one would, you know, because that would show the deficiency and the need for chemistry and you're trying to get it in those levels. However, you generally are craving a very mundane, a very uh, elemental or shall I say inorganic source so I can't say I don't know what all connecting links you are a soul to all of this I can just say that my world is detoxification fixes about everything and I think that's the route you should go in um, I think that's uh, the only way if I go back and I look at your history you have a history of asthma uh, eczema allergies now asthma that is the beginning of the COPD. -er. So we know you have congestion uh, in the lungs, but we also know you have an autonomic nerve component. Remember, we've talked about the difference between pneumonia, congestion, and asthma, or the COPDs, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is neurological. So that neurological is the autonomic nervous system goes back to the adrenals. Here you had eczema. So your kidneys weren't filtering. Here the adrenals are on the kidneys. Your skin had to make up for it. And you had allergies. That's lymph. So you can tie all this into a very uh, a stagnant lymph system. The other issue here is that you had pigeon toe. You were pigeon toed. So that was telling me that your parathyroid gland was not getting the utilization that you needed.
the pull and all that's generally based upon the length and what it does to the muscles and stuff. So you can go back and show parathyroid here as well. Maybe even to the pituitary linking to the, uh, the uh, unusual craving of inorganic material. Um, so I would say that then you had a ADHD and again back to to the adrenals neurotoxicity which neuro, neurotoxicity could have contributed to the pigeon toad along with there's the adrenal again the autonomic nervous system the weakness of the myelin sheaths uh, you have the hemoglobin C trait uh, similar to sickle cell you say arthritis in the knees you weren't moving your lymph so you weren't moving lymph and you weren't utilizing calcium hence you see why you craved the elements so really, I would hit my parathyroid gland, definitely hit my kidney and adrenals. You're older now, I take it, so really go after that, sweetheart, and you should pull yourself out of there uh, and keep getting yourself well again. Uh, and just dig deeper into your body and keep going till you make it happen. Make this happen. It's like Kelly. Make it happen, Kelly. Don't sit there and complain about it. Make it happen. You know, you've got plenty of people willing to help you now. Thank you for the comment there, the Pur Puritan 6. Good man, thank you much. Uh, yeah, we're talking about dogs and grapes. How about dogs? Someone made a comment, dogs and chocolate. I never did see a dog die of chocolate, but I see it mess up the bowels and kidneys. But I don't think anybody ever died of too much chocolate, did they? I would have probably been dead years ago, probably. Read a read a read a could you tell me the calcium and magnesium levels of my hair? You know what? This was an interesting question to me, and I'm going to have to think on this one because I left my biochemistry 37 years ago, and um, my God, you know, you, I just have kept my life so simple, mainly into the God thing, but I, I even forget definitely something pushing your cow mag up there. And... Uh, uh, generally, you would have, and you know, you would have something antagonistic to that. And I just can't remember all that's pushing that up there. I just can't. Detox will straighten it all around, but I, I have to, I have to go back into my causal body, my memory body, to remember because so many labs have different opinions on that. So I'll be back on that one. Um, someone asked me about my April class is full. I don't think so. Uh, I think we're talking about limiting it to 200 or 100. I don't know. You have to ask Kathy there. So, uh, Mike, um, call Nature's Botanicals and ask for Kathy. Although Kathy's leaving Friday, and this is Monday. She's leaving for Massachusetts for a month. Someone asked me an important question here, and I want to get to that. And that was about cancer. Uh, this uh, yoga by Kate, uh, and a comment to Kelly about drinking a lot of uh, green juices with parsley and dandelion. Good co comment, yoga by Kate. Uh, two great, for, two great herbs. Uh, I love them. Just really love them, love them, love them. This comment This comment was on cancer cells. Oh, this was a good comment about the alcohol. And someone came back and uh, tangerine grooving, but talked about the uh, the alcohol and the fermentation. Good point. A lot of people want these fermented foods. Well, what are you getting when you ferment your foods? Hello. So uh, excellent point. Well taken. I thought you did good with that response. Uh, people complain about that alcohol. Let me tell you, when you're malabsorbed, you want it. Glycerin's more lipid based, so it's going to block. You're going alcohol is going to suck through that malabsorption. I tell you, there's a lot of benefits to that. But remember, this is an alcohol that's been merged with the life of a plant, so it's not real alcohol. It takes on a life of its own. Strong, but we've had a lot of recovering alcoholic alcoholics on these and never had a problem. I think we had one guy that had a little bit of a problem with them. But certainly, I don't. Uh, um, yeah, I, thanks for the uh, King uh, uh, Colin, uh, Colleen. I think that uh, I hope I do give you some. Uh, and I like this emergency kit here too. I hope this does give you uh, some um, um, uh, power to to take this down the road for yourself. And JG, thank you for your comments too. Uh, I really, you guys are just really hitting it right on. Uh, 
Someone asked me about the recluse mode, but I really, oh, I want to also say thanks, babe. Uh, you guys are doing great. Uh, this is uh, Baby and Earl. You guys were in here. I'm glad you liked your appointment here. I try to run my appointments as if we are friends, and, uh, and, and I, I need to get you to understand what the causative problems is. I want you to relax in here because when you relax, I can get a better reading on your blood pressure. Uh, your kidneys are going to filter better when you relax. So my job is to make you feel good and put a smile on your face, not to give you bad news and to be negative. Uh, I, this, this idea, when you walk out, I sent an a, a, a advanced client case to a chiropractor because he had a machine that could do some analyzing. I just was curious. And by the time my client walked out, he was depressed and unhappy, and I had to work him back out of that. And I thought, you know, worthless chiropractor, because you know what? The idea is to get your folks excited about what they're doing and to feel better and to go down this road. So thank you for the comment. Always glad to see that. Oh, yeah, four-month-old puppy got into mom's nice stand and chewed up the bag of baby Hershey's. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah. Um, this question, and I wanted to go over this, was about... Uh, cancer cells. Here it is. Uh, you made the comment that cancer cells do not pop out of one cell and move to another, yet I know that when research scientists want to induce cancer in lab mice, uh, they will inject them with tumor cell uh, solutions that are the actual uh, cancer cells, which seems to me that cancer cells are malignant, meaning that one cell, cancer cell produces more cancer cells. How do you explain that? Scientists cause cancer by injecting cancer cells into lab animals. And I ask this question with the full belief that your program really, yeah, I understand that. And I, I understand the, uh, uh, um, the, um, the question. So let me, uh, I hope you can read this. Uh, and I'm just going to give you a little quick uh, chart here to show you this. And I hope I can, can and hold this up and show you this. This is, a, this is just a, 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 say, a tissue out of the liver here. And what we have here is we have blood, your blood vessels, and you have your lymph vessels. In here we have cells. And all these individual cells have spaces around them. And these spaces are called interstitial spaces. I hope, I hope you can see this. I can't tell. Now, you have blood capillaries. That's the smallest little, little veins you see, basically, little capillaries, that bring in blood and take out blood into this, this, this interstitial levels of the cells. And on this side, you have lymph capillaries that take waste away. The blood capillaries are very small as opposed to the lymph capillaries. The blood capillaries can't take cells, therefore you never see cell cancer malignant cells in the blood taken out of tissue. But where can you see them? You can see them in the lymph nodes, right? Now, why would you see a cancer cell in the lymph nodes? What's the job of the lymph nodes? to break down these cells, unless the lymph node itself becomes cancerous. The lymph node itself could become cancerous if lymph stayed around there too long, just like anywhere else. I don't even know that you can take a cell into the lymph node. This is what they're claiming. So I uh, have to understand that if a cell, like a macrophage, can't terminate a cancer cell or cells, your immune cells can't terminate them, they have to take them to the lymph nodes to be terminated. That's where you find your most aggressive immune cells is in your lymph nodes. This is just fluid that breaks down cells. Yes, if I damage a cell, that cell will replicate its damage. That's genetics. It's also cancer. It's also anything. It's just the way cells are. Cells don't replicate its strength on top of its weaknesses. It's replicating in the real time, in the moment. And that's why I say it's important to understand that in the link with genetics and how the same thing's happening in genetics. We're weakening our cells. 
A malignant cell is just a damaged cell. There's nothing else out there. This isn't a dis disease that has a mysterious nature to it that, that somehow is etheric. It has nothing to do with that. So to think that a cell can somehow make it bypass the lymphatic system, get back into the blood and carried or even carried through the lymph system back into a, a bunch of tissue somewhere else is insanity. Now, whether you can influence other cells by injecting cancer cells in the blood of something or in the tissue of like going into a tissue of, 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 of cells and injecting cancer cells in there, I don't know. I, I just, I'd have to see that to, to actually believe that. Uh, the medium by which you cause cancer could be, definitely. The acidic medium, definitely. You could inject chemo, uh, you could inject a solution of acid that's near battery acid and create a, a cancer cell fairly quick. You know, uh, in chemo, you can have, you can form cancer cells within uh, months, uh, maybe even weeks. So yes, that is possible to uh, inject an acid that, that causes that. But to say another cell from a human cell that can be injected into a rat and mysteriously make their cells become malignant is questionable at best in knowing how the body works. If you understand the body working in another way, let me know. But that's basically what we know in physiology is that you have blood and lymph and you have all these capillaries. The lymph capillaries takes in the acids, the, the, the proteins, the, the blood capillaries are too small for a good reason. Because you can't dump acids back in the blood. That would be insanity. That would be insanity. Even carbon dioxide has to be reconstituted to get a little bit to water and, and break down to where you can have some reabsorption. But uh, not all acids are broken down into bases and reabsorb. That's crazy. You're going to pee them out if you can. If you can't, you're in trouble. So that's all I can tell you about that, uh, honey. So, uh, but I would, um, you know, just keep on moving down the line there. I just, I would just have to see their research. I don't trust any of these people. It's all about the money as far as I'm concerned, because when you understand how the body works, uh, the same fluid is going to damage cells throughout the body. In other words, if I give you chemotherapy and your, your cancer doesn't move from one spot to another, I, I, I'm running chemo through the blood and I'm going to hit every cell you have from head to toe. Anywhere you've had lymph stagnation and you've had acidosis damaging tissue, that's going to accelerate that damage. It's going to be a far bigger burn. Remember, chemo is 10 to 50 times hotter than the acids that cause cancer in the first place. So it's going to accelerate that process, particularly if you have any atypical cells. So these are, and yes, they're going to replicate themselves. That's the problem, is that, and that's a problem we face in genetics, I might add. So from that question was a good question from that viewpoint to understand that genetics is a real issue. Genetic mutation of cells is a real problem we're facing. Acids are a reality that we have to understand. And the lymph system is a reality that we have to understand. And you guys are understanding it real well from what we can. Because there's a lot of voodoo science out there called the medical profession. And that's voodoo stuff. Uh, I like chemistry and physics. and I like real science. But the greatest science that we have available is nature. No one can, can scluff that off. That is a living biosphere like no other, at least what we have access to right immediately. And so that's where the answers are. And so, you know, there's going to be conflict and in, in thought on some of these things, and so that there is. Uh, let me see. Someone asked me about uh, the times that I, this guy, uh, uh, the funky bow, bow nuts, or boo boo nuts. Interesting name. Well, he's asking me about the times of being recluse. 
you know, I even when I was 18 years old, I moved to uh, Florida from Indiana, and I, my dad had, and our family had had a house here for years, and it was out on the island out here, Anna Maria Island. And, uh, you know, the taste of, of the uh, blue skies and the white sand beaches and the beautiful water, being a Hoosier boy, I fell in love immediately. And then I was went to school here for a year or so, and I just love Florida. So, But I was so confused. I was married at 18, had my first child at 18, so it was tough. And then you had Vietnam, you had all kinds of things going on there. So the stresses and uh, all the problems uh, and the family, and I was always a workaholic. My dad owned farms and just all kind of dealership. He was a Chrysler dealer. And so it was just work, work. It was just constant work. Everything was work. So when I was got out of high school, I didn't want to settle down and go back to work. And that's what you did. You went to work at factories like Cummins or RCA. So I, I, I worked at RCA putting screws in the back of TV sets. Now, I sit there putting screws back in the TV set just almost asleep doing it. I mean, it's just it's just not a life that I wanted to live. And so um, I, I one day got so confused, I just locked myself in my dad's house in Florida. I wouldn't turn on the TV. I wouldn't turn on the radio. And I forced myself to, to take a look at who I thought I really was. What did I really want? Who, you know. So I, I locked myself in a house for two weeks just doing that. Didn't go out. Didn't do anything. I came out with a big smile on my face. I was just, I decided to love myself and, and honor my own self. And, and so uh, then when I became a raw foodist and a fruititarian, I went into the woods and uh, a friend of mine had an old Volkswagen van and I bought an old Volkswagen van. I thought living in it was pretty cool. Little little cramp, but um, you know, a little space heater for the winters down here. Thank God I couldn't live up, up north too much. So I lived uh, several years in a Volkswagen camper van, but I, I, I was full of ecstasy and joy and bliss. I just, all I did was read and study and, and walk and be. And, and so, you know, it, it was, um, it was great. And when I studied a lot of these masters that were locked into caves and, and stuff like Malarapa's story is an incredible story. Um, just of the intenseness of the aloneness, not loneliness, the intensity of aloneness. And then uh, a, Paul Twitch would come around with a chapter called That Alone Exists. And when you think about it, we generally refer to God as only one. So when you realize that only that exists or that alone exists, you start to realize that even though we're all buddies, each of us are alone in our own selves and that all things are alone. The connection is that we're all the alone. And so it's just a deep connection there, my friend. And I love the fact that you experienced that. So grace and love to you, too. Time to go. Okay, so uh, you always say that to me. Do you see that? So uh, Pocahontas, uh, enjoy. Thank you for, for your, uh, I, I love you too, sweetheart. I, I just love all you guys. And uh, I am sorry that I am so far behind here. And uh, I thank all your support for Kelly. And Kelly, you got to take this support and run with it. That's power. That's energy for you. Grab it and go. Don't wallow in self-pity anymore. Grab and go, honey. Uh, and you'll be good. Make it happen. That's what I say. You've got to make it happen. Look at all these YouTubers. They're making it happen for themselves. So they're doing real well. And then I'll be back with you. I'll be there in just one okay. minute. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it something we can answer here on the thinking here? No, there's something you wrote for somebody else. Oh, something I wrote, huh? Okay. I wanted to get all this uh, preatrial fibrillation and this uh, ablation and stuff, but uh, detox, detox, detox. I try to hit on this uh, again. And thank you very much. And uh, come on in and and you push that button right there in. Sorry about that. Bye, bye, guys. Thank you. Love you all. Now push it in. No, not on top.